Rhodium, one of the rarest and most precious metals in the world has reached such low prices that it is considered by many observers to be one of the metals with the highest growth potential in the coming years. It is one of the rarest and most precious metals in the world. Welcome to the Atlantis Report. A rare metal that has reached dizzying prices, reaching 10 times the price of gold and on our planet, it is 100 times rarer than the yellow metal. We are talking about rhodium, a metal unknown to many, which belongs to the metals of the platinum group and is also the rarest of these. Rhodium is actually the second rarest metal on the Earth. It is the second rarest thing in the Earth's crust. It is very abundant in outer space, but here on the planet Earth where we live, it's incredibly rare. Because of this factor, the price fluctuates a lot. There have been times where this metal is only six or seven hundred bucks, and then there have been other times like in 2008 when this metal was like nine thousand dollars, so it peaked. In the periodic table, rhodium can be found in group nine between cobalt and iridium. Moreover, this element is a member of the platinum group because the chemical properties of all the six elements belonging to it are very similar. That is why they are often found together in ores in the Earth's crust. However, just like other platinoids, rhodium is very scarce, making up only 0.0002 parts per million. Rhodium is the second rarest element in the Earth's crust. As I've been building my precious metals collection over the years, I became intrigued about rhodium a few years ago when I learned about it. This metal is the second rarest metal on the planet rarer than silver, gold, platinum, or palladium. It also has had wild periods of price action where it rallied many one hundreds of percent. If you are going to have a collection of precious metals, I would definitely recommend throwing in some rhodium bars to give you more variety and diversity if you find it at the right buying opportunity. Rhodium is not a get-rich-quick type of investment. It is a speculative metal that I like to hold in waiting for a shortage of the commodity to make the price skyrocket as it has in the past. Rhodium has the ability to make jewelry or other metals more resistant to rust and corrosion. Rhodium is used in jewelry, optical instruments, mirrors, electrical connections, and turbine engines of airplanes. But the main application of this metal concerns catalytic converters for cars, where it has no material that can replace it, especially in diesel engines. In fact, between 80% and 90% of world production of rhodium, it ends up in the production of catalytic converters, also called catalytic converters, which serve to reduce the harmful emissions of engine exhaust gases. It's also used in its the purest form in X-ray machines that detect cancer. Rhodium is a very rare metal also because there are no mines of this metal. It is a byproduct of platinum and nickel processing. In one year, only 25 tons of rhodium are produced worldwide. This means that the supply of rhodium is unable to respond to changes in demand. If the offer is always the same, or even is falling, a small increase in demand causes a surge in prices. There are fewer than 10 mines in the world that produce rhodium, and 80% of world production is concentrated in South Africa. A whole series of social and political problems in South Africa have forced mines to slow down or even stop rhodium production in recent years, producing a supply shortfall on the markets and strong price instability. Over the past few years, prices have been very volatile. The average price in 2003 was $530 per ounce, reaching $10,010 per ounce over the next five years. Today rhodium prices are $9,400 per ounce. The collapse of prices occurred in 2008, at the beginning of the global crisis and as a response to the contraction of the entire global automotive industry. In the medium to long term, rhodium prices have proven to be very sensitive to the trend in demand. The possibilities for this metal price to go up to four or five, even ten times, are very plausible. If say something happens with the supply, let's say the mining in South Africa gets shut down or slowed, or the people that work those mines decide to protest because of the conditions there are not very good or perhaps there's some kind of war or a bombing who knows. But something that increases the price of metals is generally fear, but this is a commodity that also has to do with the industrial purpose being used so heavily in cars makes it dependent on people needing and buying cars. This metal has a history of skyrocketing every 10 years or so. All you have to do is buy it after a crash, hold onto it, and potentially make 1000% in 10 years by just waiting. By the way, we're at around 500% as of this week, and the shortage curve is becoming obvious. 
No two booms, busts are the same, so it's possible this is already the peak, and it's also possible it'll go way past $10,000 before the peak. Rhodium production is almost a constant, so constant, you can say it's 750,000 ounces per year, and never be very wrong. Unlike other metals, it really can't be mined faster since it's a mining byproduct, and very few mines produce it in significant quantities. Demand continues to increase every year, and particularly now, with a good worldwide economy. If you think the world economy is going to crash soon, think about what that will do to rhodium. If you think gas-powered auto sales are going to collapse soon, ditto. But otherwise, if the world economy remains strong another year, we could see $10,000 again. In South Africa, they are currently having rolling blackouts due to poor maintenance of their sole electricity provider, and mines have had to shut down operations due to load shedding. If it comes to a place where the whole electricity grid fails and mines have to halt operations, I'm sure it will affect the price of rhodium. I am not saying you have to go rush out and get some, it's the best investment in the world. But I definitely like to have it in my precious metals collection to kind of give me a little bit of difference between just silver and gold. Today there are at least 5 good reasons to think that the demand for rhodium can increase in the medium long term. Number 1. The growing demand for new vehicles in China and throughout Southeast Asia. Pollution is also becoming a major problem in this part of the world, and China is adopting new standards to address this problem. Number 2. The amount of rhodium available on our planet is very low, even lower than that of gold. Rhodium is estimated to be present on the Earth's crust in an amount of 0.0002 ppm parts per million against a gold density of 0.0011 ppm. It means that rhodium is about 4.5 times less scarce than gold, in terms of density on the Earth's crust. Number 3. The demand from the chemical and glass, optics industry is growing, especially in emerging countries. Number 4. Deutsche Bank has launched an investment fund ETF, that physically buys rhodium. Of course, the metal that will purchase the fund will be subtracted from the market availability. Number 5. Worldwide supplies are limited. There are only five mines in the world that can produce rhodium. Production becomes less and less convenient as prices go down until it reaches the point of decreasing or stopping completely. Investing in rhodium is not the easiest thing in the world since this metal is not traded on any world stock exchange. So it is not possible to buy futures, ETFs, or other derivatives. The only possibility is to buy it physically. Since it is a very difficult metal to work, the most suitable formats for investment, such as ingots and coins, have prizes that can even reach 20% of its value, much greater than those that are required for gold. Some investors are beginning to think that this metal may soon go back up, in line with the future of the automotive industry. For a reasoned diversification in the allocation of investments in precious metals, rhodium should certainly not be missing. Investing in rhodium is not the easiest thing in the world since this rhodium is a very rare metal also because there are no mines of this metal. It is a byproduct of platinum and nickel processing, then, there are fewer than 10 mines in the world that produce rhodium, and 80% of world production is concentrated in South Africa. And again, there are only 5 mines in the world that can produce rhodium. Well, when the ideas are clear, then you can reason. There are no real rhodium mines that extract pure rhodium, as for example, for gold. Rhodium is instead obtained as a byproduct of platinum and nickel. Then it is extracted from platinum and nickel mines. But not all platinum and nickel mines have minerals from which it is possible to obtain rhodium with economic advantages, only five of them worldwide allow this type of production. Rhodium is also found mixed with silver, gold, and palladium, but the separation process is not always economically convenient. Rhodium is scarce always has a price and will increase in time. Platinum is 20 times rarer than gold. Rhodium is rarer than platinum. These two metals, I believe, will go sky high within 5 to 10 years. They are used to clean polluted air. On the news, scientists are now researching ways how to clean up these world polluted air. They are used for medical machinery. The world is overpopulated and getting sicker. The automobile industry is years away from going electric, poorer countries won't have this change. It costs so much to mine these metals, it won't be cost effective to dig. Politics and events have been greatly boosting rhodium buying for speculators. For example, after the recent Iran missile strike, rhodium jumped over $500.
Another example after Trump made some success in the trade deal with China. Prices jumped over $600 on hopes that China will be buying more vehicles from the US. The rhodium price continues to soar as the United States came closer to reaching a trade deal with China. Investors hope this deal will increase demand for autos, which use rhodium. A catalyst to rhodium price soaring in 2020 is the major production problems at mines in South Africa. South Africa is only national utility Eskom is cutting power several hours a day, causing mines to stop or slow production. Because rhodium is the second rarest element on earth and it is so rare the price has soared over $9,000 as of the release of this video. The 2008 all-time high was $10,100 analysts are looking at $15,000 as a potential new all-time high. It's important to remain cautious, however, because the faster and higher the price rises, the more likely we are to see a big crash. Early investors are scrambling around looking for information and updates in the dark because even though this metal is being called the Bitcoin of precious metals and has multiplied tenfold in three years, almost like, nobody is talking about share, it. Share and subscribe. Thank you.